Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Revelation 17 to 22, Proverbs 16, and Psalm 112. Let's get started. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven balls came and said to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who was seated on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality, and with the one of those sexual, of whose sexual immorality the dwells on earth have become drunk, and he carried me away into, with the in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names, and it had seven heads and ten horns. The woman who was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with golden jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and impurities, of her sexual immorality. And on her forehead I was written a name of mystery, Babylon the Great, Mother of Prostitutes, and of the earth's abominations. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of the martyrs of Jews, and I saw her a marvel great. But the angel said to me, Why do you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the womb. And of the beast, and of the beast with seven heads and ten horns, that cries out. The beast that you saw was and is not, and is about to rise from the bottomless pit. And go to destruction. And the dwellers on earth, whose names have not been written in the book of life, from the foundation of the world, will marvel to see the beast. Because it was and is not and is to come. This calls for a mind with wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman is seated. Here is the seven kings, five of whom have fallen. The one is, the other has not yet come. And when he does come, the, he must remain only a little while. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth, but it belongs to the seven. And it goes to destruction. And the ten horns are useful. Now the ten kings who would not yet receive royal power, but are, they are to receive authority as kings for one hour, together with the beast. These are of one mind, they hand over their power and authority to the beast, who will make war on the land. And the land will conquer them, for he is the Lord of lords and king of kings. And those with him are called the chosen and faithful. And the angel said to me, The waters that you saw, men of the prostitutes see, are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten horns that you saw, they and the beasts will hate the prostitute. They will make a desolate and naked and devour flesh and burn her up with fire. But God has put it into their hearts to carry out his purpose by being of one mind. And then they're handing over their royal power to the beast. Until the words of God are fulfilled, and the woman you saw is the great city that has dominion over the kings of the earth. And after this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority. And the earth was made bright with his glory. And he called out with a mighty voice, "War and fallen is Babylon the great, and she has become a dwelling place for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable beast. For all nations have drunk." And one of the passion of a sexual immorality. And the kings of the earth have committed immorality with her. And the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. And I heard another voice from heaven say, A land of hope, my people, yes, you take part in her sins. And as you share in her plagues, her plagues, and her sins are heaped high as heaven. And her year back as her, she herself is paid by others. And then, and repay a double for her deeds, mix a double portion for her in the cup she makes, and she glorify herself and lift in luxury. So give her like a, measure, a like measure of torment and mourning. Since in her heart she said, I see as a queen, I am no widow, and mourning I shall never see. For this reason, her plagues will come in a single day, death and mourning and famine. She will be burned up with fire. Her mighty is the Lord God who judged her, and the king of the earth, who committed sexual immorality and lived in luxury, will with her, will weep and will over her when they see the smoke of her burn. And he will stand far off in fear of her torment and say, Unless, unless, you great city, you might see battle. For in a single hour your judgment has come, and the merchants of the earth will weep and burn for us, since no one buys their cargo anymore. Cargoes of gold, silver, jewels, pearls, fine linen, purple cloth, silk, scarlet cloth, all kinds of scented wood, all kinds of articles of ivory, all kinds of articles of costly wood, bronze, iron, and marble. Cinnamon, spice, incense, myrrh, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, and sheep, horses, and chariots, and slaves, that is, human souls. For the fruit from which it so long has gone from you, all your delicacies and splendors are lost to you, are lost to you and never to be found again. The, mer the merchants of these ways who gain wealth from her will stand forever. And fear of torment, weeping and mourning alas and alas for the great sea that was clothed in fire and purple and scarlet, adorned with gold and jewels, with jewels and with pearls. 
bring a single out and let all these wealth has been laid waste. And I worship masters and seafaring men, sailors, and all whose trades are on the sea, stirred wealth and cried out. And they saw the smoke of her bed. And they said, What city was like the great city? They threw dust on their heads, and as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, for the great city, where all who had shipped at sea grew rich by their own wealth. And single hour she has been laid waste, so rejoice over her, O heaven. And you saints and apostles and prophets, so God has given judgment again. God has given judgment for you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone, and like a great millstone, and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with mine, and will be found no more. Yes, yeah, and the sound of John Harpets and Harpists and musicians and flute players and trumpeters will be heard in your name. The craftsmen of many, the cross, and a craftsman of any craft will be found in your name. And the sound of the mill will be heard in your name. And the light of the lamp will shine in your name. And then the voice of a bridegroom and bride will be heard in your name. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by sorcery. And in her was found the blood of prophets and saints, and of all who had been slain on the earth. After this I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of great multitude in heaven crying out, Hallelujah, so salvation and glory belong to our God. For his judgments are true and just, and yet he has judged the great prostitute. And he corrupted the earth with her immorality, and has avenged on her the blood of his sons. Once more they cried out, Hallelujah, the smoke from her goes up forever and ever. And twenty four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was here on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And from the throne came a voice saying, Praise be God, all you his servants, all you who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, crying out, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God of the Almighty voice. And let us rejoice and exalt and give him the glory. And for the marriage of the Lord has come. And his bride has made herself ready. It has granted her to clothe herself with fine linen, bright and pure. And the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Right there, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. And I fell down his feet to worship him. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hope to the testimony of Jesus. Much of God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, the one sitting on it, is called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems. And he has a name man that no one knows by himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood. And the name by which he is called the word is the word of God. And the armies of heaven arrayed in fine men. My impure, following him on my horses, from his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with the rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he is a name man, name man, king of kings and lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, with the man voice he called to all the all the bears that fly directly over him. And you have gather for the great supper of God. To eat the flesh of kings, the uh, flesh of captains. Flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slave, both small and great. And I saw a beast in the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered gathered to make war against him. And he was sitting on the horse and against his army. And the, beast, and the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet, who in its presence has done signs, and which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur, and the rest were slain. And I saw that it came from the mouth of him, who was sitting on the horse, and all the birds were gored with their flesh. And I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand a key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, who was the devil and sin, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit and shut it and sealed it open, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, and the until the thousand years were ended. And then after that, after that, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seen on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. I said, I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus, and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image, or had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. 
And he came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. And this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Whoever such the second death has no power, but there will be priests of God and of Christ, and then they'll reign with him for a thousand years. And when the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nation at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them for battle. The number is like the sand of the sea. And they marched up over the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. But fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into a lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne with him who was seated on it. But his presence, earth and sky, fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw a great, dead, great and small, standing before the throne. And books were opened, and then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in it. Run in, written in the books according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it, death and hate. These gave up the dead who were in them. And they would judge each one of them according to what they had done. And death and hate were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. And I saw a new heaven and the earth. It was the first time the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy sea, New Jerusalem, coming out of heaven from God. I prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and heard a loud voice from the, from the throne say, Heal, the dwelling place of God is with me. He'll dwell with them, and there will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he will see on the throne and say, Heal, I am making all things new. First he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. To the thirsty I'll give from the springs of water, spring of the water of life without pain. The one who conquers will have this heritage, and I'll be his God, and he'll be myself. And as for the cowardly, the faithless, and the detestable, as for murderers, and my sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all lies, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Then came one of the sec seven angels who had seven bowls full of the seven last plagues, and spoke to me, saying, um, I'll show you the bride, the wife of the woman. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain. And showed me the holy sea Jews from coming down, going down out of heaven from God. Out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God. Its radiance like a mist red jewel. Like a mist red jewel. And Jasper is clear as crystal. In a great high wall with twelve gates in that one. At the gates, twelve angels. On the gates, the names of the twelve tribes. On the sons of Israel were described. On the east gates. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. In the west, three gates. And in the wall of the sea had twelve foundations. And on the other twelve names of the twelve apostles of the land. And the one who spoke to me has a measuring rod of, of gold to measure the sea and its gates and walls. The sea was four square, its length is the same as its width. And he measured the city with his rod, 12,000 stadia. Its length and width and height are equal. He also measured its wall, 144 cubits by human measurement, which is also an angel's measurement. And the wall was built of jasper, and while the sea was pure gold, like clear glass, the foundations of the wall of the sea were adorned with every kind of jewel. First was Jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth carnelian, and the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth typhus, the tenth chrysophate, praise, and the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made of a single pearl, and the street of the sea was pure gold by transparent glass. And I saw, saw no temple in the sea, but his temple was like the Lord God, the Almighty, and the land, and his city has no name. And the sea has no need for sun, of sun or moon to shine, but the glory of God gives it light, and his lamp, the lamp is the lamp, and by its light the world nations will, and, by it, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it, and its gates will never be shut by day, and there will no, be no night there, and it will bring into it the glory and honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will ever enter it, and all, anyone who does what is detestable or false, where only those who are written in, in the Lamb's book of life, and the angel showed me the river, 
of the water by Bryce Crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the land through the middle of the street of the sea. And I also sat on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit for each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And no longer will there be anything in verse, as the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads, and night will be no more. They will need no light or lamp or sound, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to an angel to show his servants what must soon take place. And behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the word words of the prophets prophecy of this book. And I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. When I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship the feet of the angel who showed them to me. And he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you, and your brothers are the prophets. And with those who keep the words of this book, worship God. And he said to me, You must seal the words of the prophecy of the book. For the time is near. Let the evil doers still do evil, and the filthy still be, still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy will holy still be holy. You know, I am coming to you. Doing my recompense with me to repay each one for what he has done. And the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life, and that they may enter the city by the gates, outside of the dogs and sorcerers, and sexually immoral, and murderers and idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you, and testify to you about these things. For the churches, I am the root, and the descendant of David, the bright morning star, and the spirit of the bride say, Say, come, and let the one who hears say, come, and let the one who is thirsty come, let the one who desires take the water of life without Christ. I warn everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book, and if anyone asks whom God will answer, the play is described in this book, and if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy seed, the child described in the book. He just wants to be saying, says, surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. Amen. Proverbs 16. The plans of the heart belong to man, but the ends of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are pure in his own and the Lord waste the spirit, commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. The Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for a day of trouble. Everyone who has arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. He should, he will not go unpunished. By step is love and faithfulness, and iniquity is terrible. And by the fear of the Lord, one turns away from evil. One man's way is pleased to the Lord. He makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. The other is loyal with righteousness, and great revenues with injustice. The heart of the man parts his way, plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. And oracles on the lips of the king, and mouth does not sin in judgment, just bounce and scales of evil. All the weights in the background is working, and abomination to kings to do evil. The throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of a king, and he loves him who sees what is right. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and a wise man will appease it. In the light of a king's face there is light, and in his favor is light, the clouds that bring spring rain. And how much better to get wisdom than God to get understanding is to be chosen by oneself. I wear the upright hands aside from you, whoever comes his way preserves his life. I goes before destruction, and the Holy Spirit before a fool. Before a fool. And it is better to be able to live the spirit than with the poor than to divide the spoil with the poor. Whoever gives thought to the world will discover it, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord, who the wise of hearts called to sin. So even if the speak increases persuasiveness, the distance is a family of life to him who has it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise makes the speech judicious and adds persuasiveness to his lips. The gracious words are like honeycomb, sweetness to the soul, and health to the body. And there is the way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. And he had to work his appetite worse for him, his mouth urges him on a worthless man plus evil, and his speech is like a scorching fire, dishonest man spreads trust, and a whisper separates close friends, a man of minds and touches his name and leaves him in a way that is not good. And he who have always with his eyes finds dishonest things. He pesters his lips, rings evil to pass. And his right hand is a crown of glory, and is gained in a righteous life. Never slow to anger is better than the money, and he who rules the spirit and he takes it to day. The law is cast on the lap, but every decision comes from the Lord. Psalm one hundred and twelve. 
Praise the Lord. Blessed are many fears the Lord who greatly delight in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the Arbai will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Light dawns in the darkness for the Arbai. He is graceful, gracious, merciful, and righteous. He is well with the man who deals generously in lands. He conducts his affairs with justice. And the righteous will never be brief. He will be alone forever. He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting the Lord. His heart is steady. He will not be afraid until he looks in triumph on his adversity. He is distributed freely. He is given to the poor. His righteousness seeks also enjoys forever. His horn is exalted in honor. The wicked man sees it and is angry. He gnashes his teeth and melts away. The desire of the wicked will perish. I have this done. I should not do the Lord's prayer. These right hands are Father in heaven. How may be your name? The kingdom come. It will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yesterday our daily bread. The girls are dead. Jesus is the one that kept it. He is not a temptation, but to the rest of the evil one. He is the kingdom and the power of the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.